really understand sometimes what a terrible burden it is to know some of the things that I know. To try to wake people up and impart this knowledge to them. And find out that they just have walls built in front of them. Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters in Christ, my fellow saints. I hope you're all well and blessed. You know, I just finished up a, a really good workout. I had a, a blessed morning with my lovely wife at the beach today. Got some sun for the first time in a long time. We haven't been able to do that really since the storm. Um, so it was really nice to get out and be able to enjoy the ocean, the beauty of our beaches here, and just get some much needed vitamin D through sunlight. But something's been weighing heavy on me, guys. And uh, what I'm witnessing is, is I can't say that I'm shocked because here's why. I expected this. I knew this was coming. I knew there was a false Christian movement, false revivals, false gospel, watered down, useless gospel with no conviction against sin, no conviction in self and recognizing deceptions and being able to stand firmly on the word. The false revival being led by wolves who uphold sin, not rebuke it. But I have to tell you, I expected this because I hate to say it, but the, the body, the true body of Christ has nothing to do with these worldly churches, worldly leaders these phonies on stages with big followings. We know, we know that the enemy controls the whole big stage. We're not fooled by it. We're not deceived into the strong delusion as you that unfortunately support this false revival, which is not anywhere. It's not biblical. It, it, there's no foundation for it anywhere in the word for these days. We knew that there'd be a great falling away. We knew that once the abomination of desolation took place, which it started two years ago, family, along with the Mark of the Beast family. When those things happened and occurred, we knew the days and the season in which we're in. So to say that there's some massive revival, a true revival, a return to the Messiah on the world stage is foolishness. And you can't uphold it or support it with biblical backup. None. Zero. Because it doesn't exist. But let me tell you the worst part of it all. What really crushes my heart, but I'm grateful that I've done my part in warning of these very important deceptions, the lying signs and wonders, and that is of the supernatural quantum effect Bible changes that have been taking place. We don't know how long, but at least since 2012 is what I believe. I don't know that to be true, but I've been warning people. I've been exposing it and showing it since 2016. And here we are in 2023. Most people won't even admit that it's real because they didn't even pick up a Bible until long after these changes started to occur. So they didn't have the proper word written on their hearts. The window of grace began to close a long time ago, family. It is all but closed right now. Unfortunately, most people that haven't made it to the ark may not make it there. Don't get me wrong. I'm not condemning and saying nobody is. I'm saying the numbers are going to be few. There's going to be a much bigger falling away than there is coming to. The remnant is very small. You either get on board 100% with the true word, rebuking sin, encouraging repentance, encouraging keeping the Sabbaths and the feast days, and abolishing these worldly Babylonian garbage holidays that are nothing but satanic traditions, yet your 501c3 group can't seem to break from it. Why? Because they're controlled by the you-know-who, the Masonic order. That's right. So, family, I'm here to tell you, they're going to start using verses like Luke 17, chapter verse Sorry, chapter 17, verse 34. Look in your King James Version. I don't care if it's 250 years old. 
it now is an abomination, abominable unto the Most High. Yet, believe me, they are going to start using scripture like that along with Numbers 11, 12. Look at Numbers chapter 11, verse 12 in any King James Version, and you'll see the inherent problem in which I speak of. You'll understand the warnings I've been given for years to you all. Many of you rejected. Many of you have scoffed and ridiculed me and told me that I'm blaspheming the Most High when you don't realize by supporting and upholding altered scriptures like Isaiah 11, 6. They used to read that the lion shall dwell with the lamb and now there's a wolf. When you uphold that, you are blaspheming the Most High. You are a blasphemer. And I know there's YouTube channels out there that are making videos now trying to expose me that I'm I'm, I'm preaching a false gospel and I'm a false prophet and all those things. Well, guess what? You can make all the videos that you want. You're not going to shut me up. And I know the truth, for the truth has been shown to me and confirmed. My discernment is not lacking. My courage exists for that discernment because I feel the most high has confirmed to me the things in which I show you guys. I know these things to be true. It's not pride. It is nothing like pride. It is sanctification through the precious word in which I've written on my heart and that I recognize and that I know the false counterfeit word when it comes to me. If you don't test the spirits because you don't know the true Holy Spirit, then you cannot identify the counterfeit Kundalini spirit and which is prevalent in these days. So family, I encourage you to rebuke these false revivals, these Pastor Greg Locks, these other figures who are known to be wolves and false teachers that are leadership in these false movements. Family, if it's on the world stage, if it's promoted by the world, it is not from the Most High. I am very sorry for those of you that cannot see and understand this. And I pray for you because you are on a very destructive path that leads to nowhere good. You can block me, unfriend me, unfollow me. I really am not gonna lose sleep over it because I know in my heart that I give you guys the truth when I speak these words. I love you, be well and blessed. Don't be deceived. The lion will lie down with the lamb. There'll be no more killing or destroying. And the voice of weeping shall be heard no more.